Hi guys, welcome to part 23. If you are a Note Shelf, Notability, or another app user, this video is for you. I reference this video in all of my videos because all of my videos I show you how to get the link into GoodNotes. The process is different for Note Shelf and Notability. Now I have Note Shelf and Notability. If you are using another digital note-taking app, okay, I recommend, um, I don't know, like there's so many now out there. So you will you can try the GoodNotes option, you can try NoteShelf, you can try Notability. Um, I, I know it'll work in NoteShelf, I know it'll work in Notability, and I know it works in GoodNotes. If you are using anything else, you're just going to have to do a trial and error to see what works. Um, it's just how they have designed the app and how, the, how to get this link in there. So um, unfortunately, I can't help other than these three. So, but let's, let's get into it. I'm just going to take one shortcut and then um, apply it first to Note Shelf and show you how to do it in Note Shelf and then how to do it in Notability so you can see, okay? So when you are in, well, first of all, oh, you already know this because you've watched all my videos. So you know the process, you know, you know, because you've already watched and I referred you here. Okay, so... For today's example, I'm using add view all one. So you're going to be able to <clears throat> add a calendar event, add a reminder, view upcoming events, and view reminders. And this is going to be note shelf first. This is what it looks like in note shelf. I think I made the link too small. All right. There you go. And then, um, so now I'm going to show you how to get that here because it is different. So we're in add view all one. Now you want to obviously make sure um, that note shelf is your preferred um, note taking app where it says open in any of them, you know, you followed along, whatever. Okay. I just want to like show you just as a reminder to add note shelf or notability. Now at the bottom, it says the link URL you will enter in your app is. So this link is the same for all of them. It's just how you get it into um, the document. That's the difference. So you will wanna copy this link and the link is in also on my website. It's the same link. So whether you're in Node Shelf, Notability, or GoodNotes, it's the same, the same link. So you wanna copy that. And you wanna go into Node Shelf, and you'll want to paste that in, okay? Click paste. And when you click paste, you'll see it automatically links. Now in GoodNotes, I'm able, it gives us a nice little link. In Note Shelf, it doesn't. So how do you style this to get to look like this? So do you see how I have a little image? Basically, this is how we do it, okay? It's a little bit of a workaround. And let me tell you, it took me, oh my gosh, so long to figure this out. I was super frustrated. Is this going to let me? Okay, I'm just going to move this over so you can see. Can you see? So my icon, all my icons on my website, all the icons, I have free icons on my website if you'd like to download them that are just very simple black and white. Um to use here actually. Let me show you what they are. These are all the icons. So if you want to download them, um, it's free. It's all part of this huge resource. So go and do that and then you can use them if you want or you can use whatever. Note Shelf has a ton of really cool resources. But anyway, so this is the link and then we just resize it. So you're going to resize it. Um, you can use the lasso tool and resize. You can use um you can just set your text to be really tiny <laughs> uh so we're gonna resize it you can make it really small but i recommend so you can resize it but then also rah, um you want to edit it so just edit and then when you edit oh my god here it's already really tiny but what you're going to want to do is click edit and see the box you're just gonna make it really small and then down here you can 
um, it's at three. The size is three point. I mean, that's pretty tiny. So um, you can make it even smaller if you want. It doesn't matter. It's just like, you just need the link to go behind your icon. Like, I think I made this way too small. I could have made it bigger. So I would um, resize it uh, bigger, a little bit bigger there. And then you can put your um, icon over it. And then there you go. So then I would click OK, and then it pulls it up. And you can see it's beautiful and it works wonderful. So that's, it's just kind of a, um, how do you want it to look? You know, you just need to put the link in and then resize it down small. And again, if you didn't um, watch my other videos, I would recommend that in Note Shelf you create a template. So in GoodNotes, I have a template of all of my shortcuts and then all of the links and how I want them to look. So that way I can just quick come in and lasso them and then copy and paste them wherever I want them. And then um, I suggest you do that as well for Note Shelf. Um, because that way it's just easier and it saves you time. And that's what we're all about, right? We want to save time. So, um, so that's how you do it in Note Shelf. Now let's move into Notability. Again, it's the same link. So um, it's, you just, for everybody, so you just copy and paste that link. Everything is the exact same, right? So here's Notability. Here's how it looks, right? You want to open the shortcut? Yes. All right, there you go. Oh, maybe you guys want to see what it looks. I mean, everything is the same. Nothing changes as far as how it looks, right? So do you want to add a reminder? Sure, what do I want to be reminded about? Test. Done. Reminders. No alert. Boom. So you paste in your link like this. This notability is a stinker. Whoa, paste. Mm. All right, let's copy and do this again. I got to copy the link. Copy. Notability, text, paste, allow paste. There you can see the link is in. But when you're in Notability, okay, so there's the link, right? There's no link. It's just text. This has vexed me, you guys. Just leave. Just exit out, right? Now come back in and look. The link is there. I don't understand. I don't use Notability. I think it's really cool. I mean, like, I started in GoodNotes and everything is in GoodNotes. And I kind of wish I'd used either Note Shelf or Notability too, because I really like them. But um, it takes a long time to understand these. And I don't. So if you know a different way to link, I couldn't find it. Good luck. That's, you just have to paste it, exit out, come back, and the link is there. Okay. There's the link. And then do you want to open? Yes. And then it'll work there. It's so bizarre. And I, I feel like I'm missing something. But then I went and I've been on every Reddit group. I have been everywhere. And uh, this is the best I can come up with for you. So, but again, once, am I even in? I'm in Note Shelf now, aren't I? I want to get back to Notability. Um, again, so now you're going to want to just edit it. So you can just edit your text, um, choose the little, is that it? No. How do we edit? No. Oh yeah, edit. And then you can make it smaller, however you want, right? So you can see I made it tiny. You can make it as small as you want and then pick an icon just like I did for the note shelf. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, put an icon, you can see this icon. Hmm there. Oh, you guys. There. I can't see. I'm gonna have to undo. Um, oh, there. Ah, oh, you guys, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for your patience. Obviously, you know this way better than I do, but and my finger is just not moving it. Ah, Anyway, so the icon went over the little link. That's all. All right. And so you can play around, but 
definitely make um, a list of all of your your shortcuts and then like format them nicely on a page. It's just take a little bit of tinkering and then that way you only have to do it once and then you have your you could have all the shortcuts. They're all the same. They work no matter what. Just make sure you put notability in for your preferred app and then you're good to go. So um the reason I kept the note shelf notability and others video separate is because I know that they're going to come out with a better way to link. And then um, I just know that they are. So for now, this is how you can make it look nice. This is the way you can make it look pretty. You can still move it all around, move it wherever you want it, which is really, really cool. And so I hope um, I hope you use the shortcuts and I hope they make your productivity easier. Faster, better. Thanks for watching. Bye.